It's moving day. Again. And uh, we're not moving into the rig this time. Nope, we're moving out. Y'all know how much a spare tire costs? That's so our weld is broken. Okay, no clicks. But today's kind of a big day because they're gonna rip off the underbelly. It sucks to have all these issues. us for a while you know that we bought our rig brand new and we even had an opportunity to attend its build at the factory so you're also likely aware that we've had some pretty significant service issues where we've logged over 10,000 miles going to service centers for some pretty significant repairs including a total roof replacement and some pretty significant water leaks we had to change directions again routing ourselves to yet another service center pick up some of those outstanding warranty items. But what forced us to make that change this time was a bigger issue altogether. What made that change this time was a broken frame. storm shelter is to your home, your business, or wherever you're going to be tonight. Remember, don't wait to the last minute to seek shelter. You do not want to be in your car when something happens. Every time we come to Alabama, Mississippi area, there's tornadoes. There's tornado warnings. I, I, man, I don't know why people live here. It is not fun, but maybe that's just because I'm from Idaho. So the clouds are rolling in. There's people in that lounge area right now that have secured their seats kind of just watching the weather to see what happens with it i guess there's I mean, we're kind of watching that red line that's kind of flying over it's 609 it's showing that it's supposed to hit the red bay area at like 736 so hopefully it's just nothing storms that came through last night this was all flooded out here in our area uh we're here for a laundry list of things so we have a list of things to get tackled, hoping they will get through most of it while we're here. And I don't know how long we're gonna be here. So it's our first morning, we don't know what to expect, but this place this place gets busy quick in the morning. And they, they started moving class A's out from the main campground here and just started putting them in the bays early. So we just met with the folks here at the service center. Uh, apparently, so how it works here is they've, I mean, they basically got a line uh, because it's a first come first serve kind of thing. And we're gonna be in that line. They're talking right now, it's Thursday, that they think that we could be in a bay on Monday, but uh, they're throwing around numbers like four to five weeks of work. And so I'm not sure how that's gonna work for us. Uh, they're also talking about the work that we have is intrusive and so we wouldn't be able to stay in it that we're gonna need to be in a hotel So which you know kind of leads to I mean, that's kind of my expectations I guess if they got to take off the front cap or they got to take out a slide or something I haven't told Sarah all this news yet. So I'm walking over here to tell her Hey, we're, we're packing up all of our valuables, which I'm not really sure how you decipher what's valuable and what's not when you have everything that's important to you all in this little box. But we're supposed to get our valuables out now. We went and bought a couple totes from the hardware store. They were, I think $25 a bin, cause you know, we're out in the middle of nowhere. Hey, goodbye house, we're leaving. Kind of sad to leave it actually. <laughs> so we just came to get a couple things out of here and I just came in and I'm like, oh, I miss my home. I do, I miss it. I'd much rather be living in here than in a hotel. <laughs> it looks like they're making significant progress on a lot of the items on the checklist. And I know they're not gonna get through all of them, but it was pretty exciting to see some of the stuff they're working on. So that was good. I think one of the things that I don't see any evidence of is what's happening in the underbelly. I don't, either they haven't got there yet or they're not planning on it. So I'm gonna make a drive out here tomorrow to show them that leak in the underbelly. We're taking the truck in for service tomorrow morning. Uh, it needs an oil change. It has a uh, issue with the region. 
So we gotta get that fixed and I need to get a rental car so we can actually cruise around while the truck sits in the shop. And we also gotta take the kayaks off tonight. We gotta put them in the hotel room because when you take a truck into service, they can't put it up on the lift with the kayaks in. There's nothing like trying to get the kayaks down in the dark in the hotel. So we have a lot of little warranty items that we've been carrying around with us and we've been letting the larger ones start to accumulate on us. So we've had some pretty significant issues with our galley slides. Starting from day three, we've had some water leaks over there. And then we've also had a huge leak on our underbelly that damaged all the wiring underneath there and we haven't been able to auto level. They currently have the underbelly off. They're replacing all of our tank sensors. They're replacing our tank heating pads. They've replaced our leveling sensors. So we should be able to auto level going forward. And they're also gonna replace the entire chloroplast underbelly. So we'll have a whole new underbelly. Our backsplash behind the oven is also off right now because that backsplash is causing the oven to be out a little bit and the oven and the island are hitting each other during travel days. So they're gonna take that backsplash and cut it down so they can move the oven back but that also brings out the other issue which the island is loose and that's due to the island having a hole that it kind of sets into so what they've done at this point is they firmed up that island they used some metal bracing to hold that down and now that island is super secure so we shouldn't have that problem going forward now for the bigger problem which is the broken frame and i know when i say broken frame the first thing you go to is the lipper frame I did the same thing, but this is actually the aluminum framing that's in the wall that is broken. Inside that wall, there's a horizontal support beam and then there's a couple vertical beams attached to it. Now when they weld those beams together, they grind down those welds to make a smooth surface for the outer skin to attach to. Now with those surfaces ground down, it creates a weak point, put those next to a slide joint and add a little bit of frame flex and you get a break. So this issue isn't unique to Van Lee. It does happen across brands, just that Van Lee has had a rash of them lately. And I had met a couple other people that have been experiencing the same thing. So I educated myself on what to watch for. And as soon as I saw my initial separation happening, we knew what had happened to us. For us, like many others, the initial symptoms was a little bit of separation at the trim when the rig was on the truck and the jacks were extracted. Now, later on, as things became worse, we saw some separation at the expansion joint. And as that weld broke and that beam continued to press against the fiberglass, we saw a bulge and that joint continued to separate even more, allowing a gap in there. So there is a solution and a way to add support to those weakened areas, and that's by adding gussets. Now Van Lee started adding gussets to their newly manufactured units earlier this year. I did ask to have gussets added to my repair, both from Tiffin and Van Lee, and I was told that my unit wasn't available for that repair. So they welded mine back to how it left the factory. I'm pretty excited because we're doing a little soul test drive and we just turned a corner and there's no clinky. said that these are notorious for the vacuums to fail on them and that that's what happened and they had to replace the hubs. So basically what was happening is while we're down on the beach, I put it in four wheel drive so that we could get through the sand and then after that, anytime we turned, the hubs were locked into place. I could go out and, and they were locked. And so when we turned, you got the clunking. And so uh, he said that both hubs had to be replaced. So there we go. No more clunking. Circles with no clicks. <laughs> no, check out that turning radius too. <laughs> nice. So we figured out why we lost our tire. So this you know, I wonder if it's just when we went over that bump, if that reel was just bad, and if it just finally gave way. Because, so basically what's going on, is we just tried to reel this back up into the truck and it's no having it. It's not gonna reel in. So that's what's, we're gonna have to get that whole assembly replaced that holds the tire up. Wow. It's kind of crazy what holds that, those heavy tires up in there. What does that mean? I don't know, but this is my biggest Maybe 
please. So Sarah won't take the elevator. We were just in the other elevator and it took us up a couple feet and then dropped us. It is that, that that's like a nightmare. So now it's stuck. So, I mean, it, it was just a crazy experience. Literally the alarm went off, it dropped us, not too far, but still it dropped us. Our stomachs were sick. I, it took a long time for me not to be jittery. So now I'm going up and down four flights of stairs and I'm not sure when I'll be able to use an elevator ever again. Day 15 in a hotel. It's Friday. It's a lot of days in a hotel and the more days that go by, the more I am itching to get out. Hear about all these places people are going, people are getting their rigs out and we're just in a hotel room. It's, it's rough. <laughs> the, the rig has been in the service bay for I think 10 official days. They've been working on it every single day though. Every single day. But I mean, that's, that's either a good or bad thing because uh, work is getting done or it shows you just how much work needed <laughs> to be <laughs> I think it's done. That one. So let's kind of sum up what, what the last couple of weeks has been because we've, we actually got some things accomplished while we're here. Like we got a spare tire, which was a killer because <laughs> that, uh, so the replacement tire ended up costing us $1,136. That's crazy. Over got, yeah, we gotta look for cheaper options. So we're gonna shop around, but we can't leave town without a tire, obviously. But we also found out why we lost the tire. So in trying to get the, the little hoist back up on the truck, the hoist is broken. So it will not reel back up. So we're gonna have to get a new hoist. Couldn't get that here. We're gonna have to order it at our next stop. And so meanwhile, the hoist is going to be zip tied and tied up into the uh, receiver of the back of the truck. So that's going to look That'll awesome. And we're going to have to carry that tire in the bed of the truck. So mm -hmm. we've already noticed that anytime we hit a bump, we can hear that big tire, which I don't know how much it weighs. We can hear that big tire just pounding back there. That's how it's going to have to travel. <laughs> Hopefully not too long though. So ladies, one thing I did while I was here, I really needed to get my hair dyed on the road. I mean, I've never done that before. I wasn't going to get a box. So I went to Ulta Beauty. They dye hair, they have a lot of openings. I did it, it was like $70 to get my hair dyed, but I had a lot of gray, so I got freshened up, I feel good. I'm ready to hit the road. <laughs> Here we are. So they're gonna call us Monday morning to let us know if we could pick it up Monday. It could possibly extend till Tuesday, but I think they're hoping for Monday. Yeah. And hopefully, uh, we know the majority of the big items got taken care of. And I actually, they took care of the big items and they got into some of the small items. But we know that we're gonna leave with some things left on the list so we have another appointment out there. But we're gonna spend about two days here at the service center just to kind of wet test to make sure that some of the leaks that we had are taken care of. All right, we'll see you next time. See ya.